My name is Charles Zimba. I'm an abdominal surgeon with a specialist interest in liver and pancreas surgery. Uh, I work predominantly at the Royal Free Hospital in London, but also do private practice at Princess Grace Hospital. The pancreas is a gland that sits behind the stomach in front of the spine in the upper abdomen. It produces enzymes that help you to digest food, and it also produces hormones like insulin and glucagon that control your blood sugar level. The commonest form of cancer of the pancreas is called adenocarcinoma of the pancreatic tissue. There are also rarer cancers that can arise in the bile duct or in the bowel next to the pancreas. Uh, the most common symptom of pancreas cancer would be uh, someone to develop jaundice, which is where the white of your eyes uh, or the lining of the mouth can go yellow. Um, associated with that, your urine can go dark or your stores can go pale. And that's because bile that the liver produces is, is not getting through the bile duct, through the pancreas, into the bowel. People can have pain associated with pancreatic cancer. Uh, that's often upper abdominal pain that radiates through to the back. Uh, but that is not necessarily the case. Uh, people often lose weight despite having a normal appetite and eating normally um, and not really understanding why they're losing weight. Uh, people can have um, a change in their bowel habit towards diarrhea. Uh, other symptoms can include uh, upper abdominal bloating or feeling sick or actually being sick. It's important to say that if you notice that you have one or more of these symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean you have cancer. Any symptom that worries you or is persistent and unexplained should seek one to get uh, medical advice immediately. There are generally three treatment options available for pancreatic cancer. Uh, those would include surgery, uh, if someone has early stage disease and is deemed operable, or for, for more advanced disease, chemotherapy and potentially radiotherapy. If one was seeking more information with regards to this disease or diseases similar to it, then you could go to your general practitioner. There is also good information on the Macmillan website available. Thank you.